once upon a time there was this guy he was very controlling he was very vindictive he was just very overpowering in every direction in every step of the way there was just no escaping i couldn't be caught with any person of the opposite sex i couldn't talk to any guys he would just control everything all in the name that he was the one that was working or he was the one that would provide the money at that time i didn't have a job i couldn't work in the country because every place i would go they want to hire me because i didn't have my documentation now in the present you know i have all my documentation i am a nurse you know i can provide for myself i can start to provide for myself so i just don't need any man but as i was saying i'm very controlling if i talk to anyone you know that's of the opposite sex you know he wouldn't answer his phone i'm trying to call i'm trying to explain do you have to explain talking to somebody of the opposite sex no i don't think so but i had to do a lot of explaining they wouldn't have answered their phone for days in days out and it was just one thing after the next because as i said before he was the one that's providing the money sometimes you find yourself caught in situations not because you want to be there but because that's the only way at that time the other jobs that i was on they didn't want me to like you know let's just say go to school like if i have an exam to do you know they wouldn't want me to go and do my exam you know whether it's finals and i wasn't having that sometimes they would sexually you know want to sexually harass me i would have to leave and those jobs or you know the jobs that you get paid like minimum wage and that was back in the day but you know i always had my head on my shoulder i always had ambition and today i'm a nurse so if you're watching out there story time with Fanny, you know that there is hope from you have the ambition and from you value yourself no matter what comes your way whether you had to go through certain things in the past to get where you are right now you can do it with the help of god and you being on your knees and you pray and just do whatever you have to do to get there you can get there you don't have to be in bondage with any man with anybody it doesn't have to be a man you don't have to be in bondage if you put your mind to it and if god says you know this is where he wants you to be he's gonna put you there i'm living testimony of that right now i don't have to have a man if i don't want to i'm married so you know he the bull has to be in the picture but i'm just saying that you know everything that glitter is not gold sometimes you have some men out there that are just plain cruel because they know that you know they are the ones that have the the upper hand in that situation the person that i was you know talking to or whatever that person couldn't even hold an erection for long you know i you know and then when i look into it i'm like you know a girl like me i had to be like caught up in a situation like that he couldn't even freaking perform you know he would be up right now have an erection and as you touch it you know he would just bust i'm sorry he would just bust and he's the kind of person that was trying to control a girl like me i am young i'm beautiful you understand look at a girl like me look on me look clean i'm pretty and you know they would want to control me but i'm just saying that you can start from the bottom and you can reach the top I'm not at the top yet. Yes, I have a career as a nurse. I don't start working as yet. But I'm just trying to say that, listen, you don't have to settle for less. You don't have to be in a situation that you don't want to be in. Or even if you're in it, just use it as a stepping stone to get where you want to be. But at the same time, just treat people with respect. And at the same time, keep your dignity in everything that you do. So I hope you enjoyed the story time with Fanny. If you want more, I will be posting more every Tuesday. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned something from this and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.